Philomena and her friends are on the warpath. France and Italy have chosen their home valley in the Italian Alps to tunnel out a new high-speed rail link. Good news for travellers and business, perhaps, but the plan faces a wall of protest from locals in Italy's Suze Valley. Several hundred people teamed up this week to disrupt the works. We already have a highway, two main roads, a river and a train line. All that through a strip one and a half kilometers wide. And all that for what? To go faster? But where? We are in the middle of the mountains here. The Lyon to Turin rail project is intended to dramatically slash travel times. France began work on the project in 2002, but local protests have so far derailed all attempts to get started on the Italian side. This month, Italian engineers began test drilling for the rail line, and battalions of police have been called in to keep protesters off the site. They might cause a few problems here and there, but opponents will not be able to block the development of this project since it's all been agreed on. But local campaigners say they will fight all the way. It's a real danger for people's health. There are 100,000 people who live here and who are going to have to put up with 20 years of building work and dust. Backers of the line have some green arguments of their own. The European Union says it will keep up to a million trucks and their fumes off the roads each year. But many doubt that will be enough to clear the air in Italy's Suze Valley.